What is your success formula? No, I'm not here to give you a success formula today, but I want you to think about what is yours and where did it come from? A lot of times we try to cookie cutter uh, advice maybe that has been given to us, maybe by an individual, maybe something we read in a book, and we try to take someone else's success formula and implement it as our own. The problem is oftentimes we don't consider the resources those people had that made that strategy make sense for them. So when we go and try to implement that same strategy, we run into many obstacles. What I'm saying is find the strategy that works for you. Maybe you can take pieces of someone else's strategy, but you have to consider the resources you have. Those resources could be the people in your circle. It could be your available cash, your ability to raise capital. All of those things have to be have to be taken into consideration before you implement your own success formula. And that's not to say that you're gonna get put a formula together and it's just gonna work out perfectly. Thomas Edison, as well as many other successful people throughout history, have had to revisit the drawing board several times. I think Thomas Edison was some odd 1,000 times on the light bulb to find a way to make the light bulb work perfectly. So that was what it took for him to reach his success formula. So don't feel bad if you have to go back to the drawing board to revisit yours. The ultimate goal here is to make sure that your success formula is in alignment with your talent and your available resources. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Until next time, this is Galt University.